anyone doesn't have a drink, uh, you can continue. Oh, someone's here. Come in. Emma. Emma, Emma, our time girl, everyone. And David. Hi. Up Emma. Hi. What's this? Okay. Um, fact number one, you guys, and that is the famous carol, Silver Bells. Okay. Which everybody, yeah, everybody knows that carol, right? Silver Bells. Right. Silver Bells was originally called Tinkle Bells. Oh, no. <laughs> Until the um, composer's wife told him uh, that tinkle also means to pee. He didn't know that? No, he didn't know it. Well, he's so suave and debonair. I'm the one and only. So your friend, your friend with benefits is a friend who lives at home with you, who if your date doesn't work out, next to each other, okay, across Chicago in the world of the show. But if your friend, if your date doesn't work out, you don't have sex with your date. You, you can have sex, have with, sex your with your friend exactly. as a backup. As a backup, they're a contingency plan. Yeah. Does the wild world? Do, do, do you deal in the show with the idea of self-esteem? <laughs> um. I think that like when an engineer knows they have to make a phone for T-Mobile, they ask themselves like questions to get into like a T-Mobile frame of mind. Like, um, what if we lost passion for our jobs that just kept making phones? <laughs> so you had to get turkeys to market, and for some reason they would walk them. Right? Which sounds like the worst job in the world. It's like a kindergarten but class turkey of turkeys that you have to chaperone to the market, right? And it was so cold that the turkeys' feet were freezing and they wouldn't be able to walk. No, and no, so no. they would die, right? Right they there on the street. Die. Die. They would die on the street. On the street. And so you couldn't get them to market. No one's going to buy a dead turkey. No. So what they started doing was fashioning shoes out of leather for the turkeys. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Your dad are going to kill you all. I'm sucking out your souls. The doors are locked in your cut. Come on, so will be nice. It's 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 so great to be here tonight on the chat and chew. I need a gold dug drink. Me and David have put together the worst gifts of 2010. Uh, video series that we're gonna go to uh now. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? This is a real thing. I thought it was like a spoof, but it really seems to be a real thing. It's called handle pants. Underpants for your hands. And then the turkeys would, would, would sort of flow into town in their beautiful leather shoes. And they sort of own the town. And I'm like, what? who is that? And you go, that's those new turkeys. And they sort of dance in. That's great. That's my scene. Yeah, sit down. Sit down. Um, you're, you're in good health, I hope. Yeah, no. In? All right. In? Good. You dropped your hat. Oh, look at that. Here you go. It not fit so well on this one. We'll just kind of flap it there. Okay. You're in good health, I hope. Health is good. Good. I'm feeling all right. We had Canasta Day up at Elder Acres. <laughs> That's where you live. I live at Elder Acres. Okay. 92 years young. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Ducks are also popular. So what happened is, Ducks also had to get to market, but they were less popular than turkeys. So guess what the ducks had? What the ducks had? They got their feet dipped in tar. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the shittiest thing? Isn't That's that the time you would be so angry if you were a, a duck? If I was looking for the turkey, I would have taken his shoes on and they go, just dip your feet in the bucket of tar. What do you tell a woman with two black eyes? Nothing, you've already told the truth. <laughs> 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 uh, this is this is a heart bereavement necklace, also on Sky Mall. Now this is great because it's kind of like if you love someone, you wear a heart necklace. This is if you've loved someone who's dead. Uh, you can wear this one. It's just like that, except it has a big bloody hole in the middle. So everybody knows you love someone who's now dead. Now the great thing is it's perfect for someone who's lost someone or somebody who has an atrial septal defect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, what is the experience now of living in Los Angeles? Are you LA people? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Isaac probably is more than I am. I hate yeah. that. You like it there more than I do. I want to stay here. No. You're getting I, a, a rift in my heart. No, this right is now. good. Yeah, this is just drama. Yeah. I'm too busy sweeping my floors to see the Son of God be born. <laughs> like other children, 
in Africa, you know, had a really shitty Christmas, right. you know, but I was sunning myself on a deck in the this. French Caribbean going, this is shit! <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst Christmas ever! You know how chocolates still they label they say like, like coconut, fruit, yeah. and caramel. Is it different Bible passages? One. No, no, they do, they have, most of them say molasses too, blah, 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 and then one of them says messenger boy, <laughs> you know, that would make sense. As a kid, it would almost make sense because it's like, oh, I'm in the butts. But like, as an adult, no, you were right? in the butts, right? I was not a butt guy. No, I thought they were the nastiest, like, I feel like I'm I missing told that poop comes out of them, which I assume. When I found out that you could do other things with well, that, I, my head exploded. To me, that is still the hottest thing to wrap my head around. The hottest thing? Hottest. I love his accent. <laughs> He got picked up by that mitzvah truck with the Jewish people. They just they mixed him away. <laughs> Why a man would um, become a gynecologist? He's so suave and debonair. I'm the one and only. Says a little glare. If you don't know my name, you're full of hot air. God damn it, I'm mad. I'm Cecil Sinclair. God damn it, he said. He's Cecil Sinclair. Why would you want to ruin that forever? Or what would be your motivation to do that? My friend's dad was a, was a gynecologist. Are you serious? Yes. And here's why I think he did it. Was to be able to tell foreign visitors that were visiting his home horrible stories about vaginas <laughs> splitting open. Yes, I don't want to, I don't want you to know, Kyle, because I know, and it's a curse. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one, this is my sexy lingerie, it says. What I love about this is it can be worn only in answer to a very specific question. <laughs> the next year, I think, was when like GE, where my dad worked, like did like a half shutdown or something. It was a rough year. Right. So next year, at the after opening all the gifts, this is the following year. Uh, my mom was like, oh, did you have a good Christmas? And so I really, this is awful. I was kind of like, yeah, I'm sorry. She's like, well, what, what's wrong? And I went, no, I counted, and I got more gifts last year. <laughs> and she's like, okay. And she got up and I was like, I didn't mean it, but I, but I you know, I'm you a stupid it, kid. Right? I meant it. Because yeah. like, when you're a kid, you don't think of the work that goes into really behind it. They just they go out, they bring back the awesome stuff, and it should continue to grow throughout your life. You don't even know that they're getting it. You think that Well, right, Santa was supposed to. Supposed, I thought Santa was pissed off. Santa dropped like, the ball on that. Uh -huh. And I quietly got up. <laughs> I, I, I don't remember if I said it or if my face said it, but pretty much the message was, you have ruined Christmas. <laughs> oh, happy holidays.